Hello, my name is Chris and I'm a U-Haul hitch professional. Installing a hitch on your Chevy Equinox can lead to some amazing adventures, such as biking, camping, or road trips to your favorite destination. You can even tow a U-Haul trailer just about anywhere in North America. Now, let me show you how we do this install. You will need the following tools and supplies to complete this installation. For this installation, we will be lowering our exhaust to make room for the hitch. The posts on the exhaust are going to get hung up on the fascia, so we're going to remove two Torx screws from the extreme outside with your T15 Torx bit. Before we lower our exhaust, let's support it with a strap. We can now detach our exhaust brackets by reaching in behind the bumper and removing two bolts for each side using a 15 millimeter wrench. You can now lift the exhaust bracket off the flange on the bumper beam. Remove the rubber isolator and bracket by pulling it off the exhaust post. Repeat for the other side. You can now lower the exhaust fully by removing this rubber isolator. The post on the tailpipe is actually longer than the one on the vehicle, so I suggest popping the rubber isolator from the top. With all the rubber isolators removed, make sure you have a little slack in your strap, but not too much, and we will gently pull the fascia away so we can fully lower the exhaust and make room for the hitch. In order to fish wire our hardware into the frame, we need to enlarge our access hole. We're gonna do this using a one inch step drill bit. Repeat for the other side. After drilling your hole, spray something on the raw steel to prevent rust, like a galvanizing compound. Allow to dry before fishing your hardware. We can now fish wire in our hardware. There's a half inch carriage bolt, a custom spacer, and a fish wire. Wire your rearmost access hole first. Place the fish wire into the hole and out the enlarged access hole. Be careful not to cut your finger as this edge is now sharp. Place on the custom spacer and place into the frame. Now thread on your bolt. Now pull the bolt through the rearmost bolt hole. We will now fish wire our center bolt hole. We can now fish wire our final bolt hole, which will be directly forward of the access hole. Now repeat this process for the passenger side. We are now ready to raise the hitch into place. I'm gonna be using this U-Haul exclusive hitch jack. Uh, if you do not have one, we recommend you get a second set of hands. The hitch is heavy, and we are gonna need to pull down on the exhaust to get the hitch over it. Now pass the fish wires through their respective holes in the hitch plate. You may find this vehicle wire harness is in the way. Let's go ahead and pop it out of the frame using a trim panel tool. Reseat the electrical harness back into the frame. Remove the fish wire from each bolt and thread on a flange nut. We can now tighten and torque our hardware down to the manufacturer's specifications. We will link them in the description below. We're gonna use a three quarter socket and an extension. We are now ready to reinstall the exhaust brackets. Let's go ahead and again gently pull back on the fascia and get our exhaust posts back behind it. Now place your exhaust bracket over the exhaust post and then hang it on the flange. Now you will need to push up on the exhaust to hand thread in the previously removed bolts. Once hand tight, Tighten down fully with a 15 millimeter wrench. Tighten snugly, but do not over tighten. Repeat for the other side. 
Reinstall your final rubber isolator and remove the strap. Now reinstall your two fascia screws with your T15 Torx bit. Now that our hitch is installed, we've pulled the vehicle onto level ground to show you some important measurements. This is a two inch hitch receiver. From the pinhole to the end of the bumper is five inches. From the ground to the inside top of the receiver is 11 inches. These measurements will help you determine the necessary length, rise, or drop of your hitch accessories, like a ball mount, bike rack, or cargo carrier. If you have any questions about the products seen in this video, or if you'd like to schedule an installation with your local U-Haul Hitch professional, please visit us online at uhaulhitches.com. You can also download the U-Haul app using the link in the description for even more ways to manage your hitch and towing needs.